it's why I love it. Because it allows me the opportunity to have to work at some. When I go out and do a concert, I know it's going to go well. Mm. <laughs> I, right. I, I, I kind of already know. These <laughs> songs are songs people like to hear, and they're going to sing along, and it's going to go well. I already know that. Mm. With this I have to give an extra piece of myself to ensure that it will go well. Mm. I have to pay more attention to it. I have to work with it. I'm, I'm challenged by yeah, it. No. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. We're in the building. Listen, man, I came a long way. Let me pop my for a second, man. Yo, I, don't, I not only got a legendary artist in the building, I got a legendary group in the building, some legendary guys in the building, some legendary people in the mother building this is crazy bro psc is here i got young dro in the building mac in the building yeah, big bro. country kane in the building and my guy ti is in the building for sure yo first of all shout out to tip for keeping his word bro <laughs> shout, hey hey i'm a young listen i'm, I'm a, look, we're gonna talk some real on here you feel me i'm a young I'm, I'm coming up in this podcast game i hit tip on a dm first of all first of all i feel like a family counselor at this point because i didn't interview everybody Mm. Damani Kings, I, like everybody. Shit, bro, this shit is this yeah, less than going notice. Bro, this shit, I pre, bro, I, I can't even we see. You. I can't, I can't express my gratitude enough, my guy. Like I appreciate this. Shit, this shit is amazing, and I, and I'm grateful to be here with all of you guys, man. Right so, on, man. So what's going on, man? Like, what, 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 what bring us all here together at this point? Like, 25 life too. Like, what, we, what we doing? Man, pretty much. <laughs> what, what's the word? What we doing? Well, I mean, actually, man, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to keep my word. You dig what I'm saying? I told you I'm going to give you a shot at it. And we have something that we actually been working on and promoting and, you know what I'm saying? Creating a demand for it and, and the people want to hear more about it. So I figured, you know, why would we go anywhere else and speak more about it without man. killing two birds with one stone and giving you the shot that I told you I'd give you? Nah, I feel that, man. I, I, when I say, I know I said it already, but like I really appreciate. It. I come from nothing, like the trenches. You feel me? Like right. it's all independent. We pulled up. That makes just five us. of us. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> like I know you. I know y'all understand how that feel. I came yeah, up on it. Like no, I ain't signed to nobody. It's just me. Man, son, I met cutting up crack man in front of a speaker writing rhyme talking about I want to be a rapper. You just say I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what you doing? You know what I'm I mean, you know, a uh, 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 country man used to come pick me up, take me to my probation meetings. You know, mm. I ain't had no call yet. I ain't know I was finna get you know my probation violated. Country come pick me up, stop it day. Come pick me up, take me to see my probation officer. Mm. Then take me, you know what I'm saying? Make my little play, sell my little dope afterward. You know what I'm saying? That was real solid. I used to bar I used to bar uh uh Matt Boney shirts to wear to high school. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When we used to wear the same size if you whether you believe that. That was a long time ago, you feel me? You really used to be boning. You been eating eating good, nigga. You been eating good. Yeah, so you know, we all have we 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 come from humble beginnings. This ain't just nothing that was put together for the for the sake of making music or you know, just for business. This is, this is indeed, this is indeed the 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 family empire. Mm. Yo, how does it feel? Like twenty plus years, right? Mm -hmm. Friendship. Like nowadays, we see push beef. thirty. Yeah, yeah, like even like yeah. close to thirty yeah. years of of real friendship, man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We brothers, man. We've been through a lot, mm. lots of ups and downs with each other. Mm. And we all keep it solid. You mm. feel me? Yeah, but I know we see, it's it's different nowadays, though. Like, bro, like. Nah, nah, nah. Them is different. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Get that shit right, right here. Yeah, 
<laughs> we, we, this, 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 see, you done met something real, right? Nah, facts. Okay, hold on to it. Mm. <laughs> you feel me? Nah, but y'all gotta think about, like, y'all gotta sit I back get and, you get what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and appreciate up. it differently. Yeah, a lot of separate, yeah. and, they, and, they, and it be because of things that they don't want to man up and, you know, you know, actually admit to each other, or you know what I'm saying? One person might not feel like he's on the level of another person, you know, it, they might not connect like that. No, so for us to still be together is rare. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Accountability like, is key. Yeah, accountability mm -hmm. is key. And then for what, what, what Drew, just, you know, picking up on what Drew just put out, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people separate, a lot of people break up because they were not never really together in the first place. Mm. Right, no foundation. You know what I mean? So I'm just, I, I know that what we have is, Unique. I know that it ain't a lot of cats that genuinely rock with each other. You know what I'm saying? Just outside the music. Uh, if it wasn't no albums to be done, if it wasn't no music to be done, we'd still be kicking it. You know, even while we weren't doing music, we were still, you know, whether it was individually we we or collectively. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Before music, before yeah, money, we before the success, hanging. we always hung and thought we were better and not better, but yeah, better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, talking right. shit, nigga, like, be real. You know what I think what he's trying to say is we each all had the same personality. Yeah, right. We, you know what I mean? Yeah, like tip was, was tip before you knew T.I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like same it, for Drew. He's Joe still the same man. person. Everybody is. Like, they didn't need all these things to talk to the baddest bitch and mm -hmm. catch them. You feel me? We didn't need all these things. All these things is extra. You feel what I'm saying? Most people just fall out because they envy each other. Mm. We don't. We don't have no envy in our heart. You know what I'm saying? We really ain't no slave. We don't have no slave mentality. You feel me? Yeah, some real players. Yeah, right? see, yeah. you're coming, man. <laughs> <laughs> all day, especially <laughs> when, it, especially help, when you, you see that. You see two that times on, on the weekend. Yeah, that's how, that's why she coming. You feel yeah. me? Like, was you about to go play two golf? Yeah. Kind of, I, I tee up on the whole. Yeah, man. I tee up you on the whole. Yo, but right, so let's like let's. I, I like to have these conversations, and I, I like to like humanize people, right? Because we all human. We all got feelings, right? Mm -hmm. So like, Joe, you was doing your thing, your, your solo thing for for a minute. Mm -hmm. Ken, you was doing your solo thing mm -hmm. for a minute. Mac, you gotta put me on. I'm just being real. You feel me? I'm I'm, I'm young, and I'm gonna tell you what I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't scared of it. So like, when it come to making the music, did y'all ever feel like? You know, was it ever a point in time where you did feel some some env some enviness when you uh when you Joe when you see Ti keep going right? Well, Kane, me, when you see Joe keep I going, mean, I would say envy. Well, yeah, but it's a human I mean, trait. Well, like, I mean, be like, real. Well, like, you know what? He need to pull his mic up. It's like let's um, get that. Let's get that straight. When you when you when you have brothers, it's always com a, a com a, like competitive. competitive. You feel what I'm saying? It's it's normal for you to want to go faster in the car than your brother is going you know if, if he's in a vet and they do the same miles an hour 200 and he's going fast I, i'm gonna want to catch up right. you feel me that's normal you feel me but to actually you know feel or feel a way about it is kind of different you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like because it, it separates it kind of separates you from family and street you know what i'm saying you have to you have to know the difference between oh that's my brother before I feel any kind of way that's gonna like really f with the family, you know what I'm saying? I have to ch you have to check that you you know what I'm saying? You have to check that check your heart on that. No, you know but put me up, put me on game. That's funny because I say like I feel like the feelings is normal, right? You can feel away, but as long as you don't allow your emotions to make you react on some, that's when they make you weird. In my opinion, like you, you really ain't got no ass emotions like that though. Oh damn! Like ain't that yeah, wrong but, with having yeah, emotions? But, okay. We have God emotions. Damn. Yeah, but you don't Thank have you, female. Daniel. No, no, no. We don't have female check tendencies. This shit, bro. Mm. See, this we don't have done. female mm. tendencies like that. But you know, but emotions is emotions. Well, I mean, like, like, what I is it? I haven't spoke. I haven't spoke. I don't I'm really. just say. Talk know, Talk your shit. I'm going to give you a, a perfect example. It's like in this industry, it's a such thing as, you know what I'm saying, training. Um, A lot of the artists. That that came out after us, they didn't really get like the media training, mm. and, like like artist development. All yeah, the yeah. artist development. You know, they, didn't, how to... they didn't they didn't get all these these things. So it's like the quality of the traits that we have, we were taught a little different mm. in the beginning. Guys right. like you know, what I'm saying R.I.P. Rest in peace, Clay Evans. Yeah, you know what I mean, he really like <clears throat> he made us understand like this is a machine. We O.G. Mm, they no IG, way. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no it's, a bit, it's a bit of a difference. No cap. It's a machine <clears throat> and your personal feelings ha don't dwell here. Mm. Yeah. Personal shit don't dwell in the industry. Yeah. It just don't dwell here. No, like facts. whatever you got going on at home and like that, when you come to the square, when we come to this mic, 
yeah. when we get on this stage, when we get in these booths, when we, you see what I'm saying? Don't none of that matter at, the, at that moment. Your yeah. individuality <clears throat> had to take, it had to, it had to, it had to take a step aside for the collective. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What's best for me is Ti. That's one thing, but you know, I deal with that when I'm done with this. You feel what I'm saying? So you gotta gotta got peel that off in order to come and treat this fairly. But you never felt like it, it sometimes even got in the way of what you wanted for yourself as tip? I think because you had outside sources that were kind of, they had ulterior, you know, some people have, would have had ulterior motives that were kind of manipulating because they benefit a little bit more off of the T.I. thing being a little more front. Mm. You talking front. about like management or some shit I like ain't that? Finna, I ain't finna get too far deep into it because you know what I'm saying, you just got there and look at the different set of circumstances and you see what this may apply. But it may be a set of circumstances where we're all involved in a situation mm -hmm. and that situation involves another entity and that entity may be more invested in TI than right. they are in mm. the collective. Mm -hmm. So therefore that entity would position TI in a certain way because that's their mm. presumed interest. But us as a family, when we recognize that, we be like, man, Nah, man, you know what I'm saying? We, but it's up to us to rectify that, and we right. dealt with it accordingly every step of the way. Yeah, but I, I look at it like this. Like, Tip worked hard to get to where he at. You feel right. me? And for me to, you know, for me to feel like I deserve something that he's worked hard for, that's some sucker shit. Like you walking up in the building to me, hey man, I envy you. <laughs> it's supposed to be me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when, when we, we, from, we from we uh, eat what you kill crew. Nah, fact. You feel and what I'm saying? They was with me when you know when we was all f trying to figure out. I would I was writing rap when we was selling dope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had you know notebooks full of rap and was traveling to New York recording demo, trying to get record deal. You know when I met them. So they kind of knew that this was always a part of the dream. Mm. And from what I had learned, I kind of started sharing and and everybody kind of picked up from there and took off with their own quest for knowledge. And you know, and that's what got everybody kind of caught up to be at the same place at the same time. No, <laughs> when I met Dro, Dro had his own ambition. Dro got signed before before yeah, me. I was on the radio first. Yeah, he was the first. He was the first one who was actually. Wait, doing what song thing. was that? Yes, sir. Song called yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. This, like, like the, the same slang we from two, high school. The same slang that came around back in twenty twenty. All that yes, sir. I was I was doing this shit like ninety nine two. Oh yeah, that was I wasn't even like in yeah, into two, the music like yeah, that at ninety nine. I, like, I think I was like seventeen. Sheesh. You know Damn, yeah. that's crazy. So yo, like, all right. So you saying y'all don't get envious of each other, right? So whenever y'all did have the the breakout, right? When how long did it take for y'all to come back to get? I would call it a breakout or a break up or mm. something like that. It just cat was just doing other man time, bro. Yeah, just time. Everybody was on their personal journey. Mm. Yeah, I had a, at, go ahead, Joe. I had a lot of different avenues. You know what I'm saying? I, I went through my Rocco and Monica phase, my Raheem Dream phase, and you feel what I'm saying? And but I always had ties with the, with them though. You know what I'm saying? And you know, once it came to like, like when we came back around, we just locked it back together. But let's talk about it though, right? So like, sometimes it's easy to have hindsight bias, right? Like looking back on it, what if type, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, do y'all ever look back on it now? Like, damn man, we would've just, if we would've just stuck the course, stayed the course and kept making music together, it could've been something different. Cause you see so many other groups that did flourish. There's a lot of groups that didn't flourish that broke up, a lot of them did that. But do y'all look back on it like, man, that we could have really been doing that. Shit. I have a, I have a saying, bro. This is the best it's ever been, and the best is yet to come. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Looking back, talking about what if, coulda, shoulda, woulda. What is that gonna do itself for upset your day? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Talking about what you're doing right now, talking about what you're gonna do to make tomorrow better than yesterday. That's more of a productive discussion. Y'all like uh -huh. a comparison, like you feel me? Comparison like is the thief of joy. No yes. cap. Yeah. No, no cap. Man, this. No different from us being in the same room. I just look at it like we in the same room, bro. Mm. We in tip room, like you said. He working the window. It's a little twenty five <laughs> <laughs> around. You know what I'm saying? A little ugly ass cell phone. He in there playing with the goddamn keyboard. You're ugly cell phone like this. Yo, why you got this, bro? What is this? Like, I mean, I'll explain. I'll explain. Authenticity. Hey, stop, bro. You, bro. We in 2023 now, bro. Listen, Come on, man. Nah, listen. You can be. Listen. 
Tip playing with the goddamn keyboard with one hand. We was laughing around, smoking, passing the same joint around. He probably got a, a case of Optimos on the floor. Mm. Dro rapping. <laughs> mm. I'm over there jumping in and out playing with it. Mm -hmm. We just chilling, man. It's the same chill. It's just no different, bro. Mm. We used to make beats and, and like make little songs we'll and while we were trapping. You know what I mean? I'd get a Fred pack in, be cutting dope up, serving junkies at the winners, as he say. And we are not promoting any of this type of activity or behavior. We just telling <laughs> the high war for us. You yeah, know don't try saying? this at home. Uh, yeah, please don't do it because it's not work nowadays. No, um, it will make some great music, by the way. But anyway, uh, we doing that type of smoking, drinking, kicking it, talking on the phone. And, and and just those experiences brought forth such a testimony. Mm. The funny part about it is- It created the, what the you see The funny part about you. it is we had different traps. So if I come to Tip Trap, I might have to stay at his, I might come visit his spot for about two, three days. Mm. You know what I'm mean? saying? Leave his spot, go back to our spot. We got a spot, you know? Yeah. I, I, might, I might leave our spot and go <clears throat> over to my cousin's spot. Mm. But we all friends and all of us can come to each other, whatever. It yeah. don't matter. It's like a like a revolving door type then, shit. Right before it was the before it was the music. Speaking of envy, you know there were times. See, bro, trap might be rolling a little harder than mine. <laughs> there were times KT trap might be rolling a little harder than mine. Mine might roll up. We was never envy. It just motivated us to get out there and get and get more f for ourselves. Mm. I see what my brother doing. I know, man. We had the same tools. We 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 learning out the same book. So I, I know if he got that, if it, if it worked for him in this way, it damn sure gonna work for me once I apply my skills to the proper opportunity. Mm. Yeah, one thing I can say though, we ain't no p that be sent back, just be looking at each other. <laughs> yeah. That they hate. Yeah. That we're not yeah. with that like that. You feel me? I'm, Can't I'm miss that. They, you said I'm, trying trying to to think, I'm thankful. I'm That's thankful for it. You know what I'm saying? But it that. stems from something. <laughs> That's though. a shit. That's still, it stems That's, from that. the people who we represent. Like we all represent solid mother. From generations yeah. be before ours, but bro, that, man, cut all that. It could be a solid. But that still have feelings. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, man, you but how you respond? Feelings, right? feelings, feelings, feelings ain't but your friend, man. Feelings, Facts. Right? I'm with you yeah, with feelings that. We got not feelings. Your friend, everybody man. do, but we different. Cause what the f so different? Man, I'm gonna tell you. I'm telling you. When we walk in the door, we already talking <laughs> about each other yeah. off the real. You feel me? Yeah, and we go in now. Y'all just get that. We go in. And we don't care, and you then we have go hang skin, out man. and do whatever. Man. And if you say something, we are gonna mm. beat your ass. No, I'm <laughs> you feel me? No, I'm, I'm for real. No, I'm, just, I'm just being the butt with you. No, okay. Man, I'm just telling him. No, he, I'm trying to give. I'm damn, trying to damn, give him fella. a visual. No, let him get his shit off. You know, I'm just saying, like when we young, that's how we Bro, were. I get it. You feel me? So I that's how we was when we were young. I think that those feelings are supposed to be for women and children. That's nah. That's real. That's. I got, I got, I got feelings. Feelings. Because, bro, this is my, this my fourth time speaking. Go ahead. Yeah. Man, cut the out. You ain't about to do this <laughs> fucking interview. You ain't about oh, to do this. Interview. That's some bullshit. I got feelings, though. What do you, what you, what you, what you mean? I, I mean, got I feelings with my woman. I think a lot, I think, like, I think children, a lot of guys. Say they got feel, I got feelings, but they, they don't exist in my business, though. You yeah. see what I'm saying? No, yeah. I, I, I'm with that 100%. You feel what I'm, I'm saying? 100%. Like, I feel like a lot of times that's fair, though. When I'm handling my business, like, I can't. You got to put and Sorry. I try to bring it all the time, and they'll, and they'll shut them uh -uh. down. You know they'll what I'm like, Keeping our trash out of other people's yard, bro. Yeah. Yeah. My feelings is my business. My feelings, that's my trash. Yeah. I don't need to be coming and telling you all of what, man, right. I'm going through this, and man, this is happening. Yeah, we ain't doing You that. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. now I got now I got to listen to you and what you going through, how you feeling. And we, <laughs> if we just keep that shit ourselves, we'll save you each just, other you gotta from like dumping of, on one another. A lot you know of males, I mean? a lot of males, Mimic who they're around the most. Mm. If you got a mother that's yelling, yada, 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 you just gonna muscle memory and everything is gonna make you do the same thing when you leave the house. No, facts. You get what I'm saying? You just gotta. I you feel know like what I mean? we talk about accountability, right? We all men here, right? So I feel like saying that we don't have feelings is not accountable. So, but that, being well, able that, to hold up, you, you no, making, hold you're up. making it sound like feelings that's is like feel. something that's like it's, it's wishy washy. You, you, you that have no, mastered. I'm saying feelings. I've mastered my no, feelings. Listen, some, like, listen to, what I'm saying is degree. you can only master your feelings if you understand you got them. That's what I'm nah, trying to say. Well, that's the only way you want to master them. I think this is the point that's being made here. <laughs> Even though these feelings <laughs> exist, it, I understand that it's not fair or reasonable that's practice to present these no. feelings. 
just because they mean I'm something with to you. me. No, that's what you mean. No, no, no. It sounds like you. It sounds like you saying. It sounds like you saying I should be sitting next to Matt Bonas. Nah, 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 nah. What I'm saying is, what Tip originally said. That's two different things. You said feelings is for women and children. Yes. You said feelings is for women and children. Me not. That's my feelings. I'm gonna tell you what I meant by that. I'm gonna tell you what I meant. I can only say what you said. I'm gonna tell you what I meant by that. My woman, she need to be worried about how I feel. Okay, yeah. My feelings yeah, sure. is her business. A hundred, I'm with that. My children, they need to be worried about how I feel about them. Facts. My right. feelings is they business. I'm with that. Mm-hmm. They don't need to be worried about how I feel. Like, My feelings I'm, ain't they like business. Things. I'm with it's you. It's just truth in that. No, I'm, I'm, right. with it. I'm with it. What I'm with it. Do, I say, I say they are. Well, I'm giving them a, pillow. It's a certain, it's a certain <laughs> amount of stuff that you. I tell my niggas, I love them all the time. Oh, we say we love them. I say it's a certain amount. No, I know. It's it's what you dishing out. It's it's the percentage of feelings. I think. You feel what I'm saying? Like, man, I, I, I'm not really your feelings shouldn't spill over where you nah, crossing your home. No, for sure. I'm, that's, you you, yeah, I'm so with you that. tell your boy you, you love check him. Your feelings at you the tell door, your boy, dog. but that's what I said from the beginning. You, you got to check, but you got to understand as that they care. You, you, you can't man. say I don't feel no you way. Tell your boy that's you cap. love him. Yeah. You I tell feel like we boy, got cold. Love, then you say it's a shit. code of conduct. That's you know right. I'm mean? trying to tell you, man. It's a code it's of conduct, yeah. and your feelings yeah. ain't gonna supersede the code of conduct. Oh, for sure. I'm we with led that. by yes. the code of conduct. 100%. So if you operating under the code of conduct, the feelings uh, yeah. they ain't relevant to this. Now I'm, yeah. with, I, I'm, I'm 100 percent on. Yeah. 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 I'm 100 yeah. percent cold. With that, and another I'm with thing, that, I'm with that. I'm 100 percent. Communication is everything. People don't communicate, and they just be thinking somebody. Nobody's a mind reader. Nobody know how you feel. What you going through? Fact. Don't expect them just to know, cause I have an you example. know it. You I know have an me. example. Let's say, <laughs> and we gonna let Max give an example. I have an example. Let's just say <laughs> hypothetically speaking, right? Let's just say, got- let's just say <laughs> hypothetically speaking, right? Let's say, you know, I do some. <laughs> we all together. I do some like right now. The steps outside the code of conduct, mm-hmm. right? And then one of them say something to me or speaks to me in such a way that I might not. Enjoy, mm-hmm. especially in public and on camera. Right. Mm. However, me feeling a way about how they address me does not supersede the fact that the code of conduct had been abandoned and that's what brought it about in the first place. So the feelings now have to be set to the side. You abide by the code of conduct. We was, we was, this is the perfect segue. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the morning meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either one, outgrew the people around us or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me. This is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. It's clearly a disconnect from like your generation and then the younger generation. I wonder well, like for, I mean, mm, yes and no. You know what I'm saying? Cause we got youngsters that right. listen to us, and we listen to them. You know what I'm saying? We they listen to us so they can get, you know, they could, so they won't have to make as many mistakes that they that they can make if they don't get information from older people. Mm. We listen to them to just know what's going on. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So the disconnect just ain't. ain't I mean, some of them kids disconnected or whatever, but that just Depend on the people in, in your community who you who I think following it, I, you. Yeah, I, think, was a I think the disconnect. I think the you know, disconnect be, be because right some OG be like some some fuck nigga. You feel what I'm saying? They don't that's be true. Worth that's listening true. to. That's true. You right. feel what I'm saying? Like even though even they, nigga be thinking like, cause you know he older, he got some. You know what I'm saying? This nigga ain't grew up. You know what I'm saying? He ain't really manned up to the that's point true. where he can lead mm. somebody. You feel what I'm saying? So and it's a, and it's a and it's a lot of that shit going on. So the young nigga really ain't turning to well that niggas got jump out the party. So music I disconnection. Believe, I, think. I believe it's a di- it's a difference in whether someone is in a situation. I'm talking about an OG. Yeah. If an OG is in a situation trying to see what they can get out of it, or if an OG is in a situation trying to see what they can provide or what they can offer to it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you're trying to see what you can get out of it, they ain't necessarily an OG. You trying to take some? Yeah. You trying to try and take some from it. If you trying to, you know, uh, enhance it, 
and you trying to get down, put something into it, that's that's an OG. OGs mm. are there to add offer, value, to pour add into, value. pour into, mm. not to take the value away. Mm. That's hard. How you feel, Joe? You've what? been through a lot, man. Yeah. I have. You know what I'm saying? I see you. Uh, you doing a lot of like community activism stuff, like mm. a lot of working with the kids and stuff like that. Mm. Like, how much? How important is that to you? Given the shit you came, just, you just came out of. Um, it's it's important to me because I I feel like well I know that I'm a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, for what I've been through with my family and what I've seen, and the platform that I have right now, I feel like I always touched on it piece little pieces of it, but to actually put a pour into a a lot of it means a lot to me because um, I you know for me not to say nothing like an OG, you right, know what I'm yeah. saying? Like like we was just saying like to pour into it without wanting something back from it means a lot to me because I wish somebody would have did it like when I was young, Fact. you know what I'm saying? Because it would have stopped a lot of things that I actually went through as a grown up. You feel me? That's how I feel like the young, the youth now, they're gonna get grown and they're gonna be some bullshit because we're not doing what we're Niggas supposed not to do for You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're not, we stop pouring into them as much. You might expect, you might do it little pieces of it, but to, for me to be able to tell a person, my grandmama had seven kids and all of them died from crack cell for two. And that's my mom and my aunt and my daddy was smoked dope for 50 years and still living it. Then he is in his his end all his cancer right now. He in his last stages. You know, my mama been shot five times and I've been shot colostomy bad shit bags. And you feel what I'm saying? To not tell a story like that. You feel me? And relay the message on what not to do. Well, that's what puts that nigga shit. And I feel like it's selfish, like holding your story back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's like it's the I think it's the same to with oh, good information that you have for somebody that's in need of. You think that you I was about to say you think it was easy for you to get into the bullshit coming into the game so early, like, oh yeah. Cause I like oh yeah, I was like down worth. Yeah, yeah. What we getting in much shit when well, we got hit the music that we did before we got it. Oh, so you feel like the music kind of like helped y'all save my motherfucking life? I ain't no lot to you, child. It's kind of like 50 50 for me. I was like, wow, when I got in the music, I let the wild shit go. Of course, I know I still didn't no know how to get at my sister. Yeah. But <laughs> considering, shit. like, the kind of shit we was on before the music. Yeah, it was, it was, some, it was some other shit. It, was some this shit. Is a it blessing, kind of like bro. some of it, it would come out in, like, shit, little bro. pieces would blessing. come out. Hey, Mac, you ain't going to say this the sixth time. You're going to get into this motherfucking conversation. It's <laughs> the <laughs> seventh time, <laughs> time I talk. The seventh time I talk. Nigga, you got the space and opportunity to speak up. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like the music saved you? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. How so? We were how so? I think it start, I think we start being grateful. You feel what I'm saying? I think we started being grateful for a lot of things because of what we were seeing. Like that's why I appreciate Tip for providing that that scene, that scenery, setting up that picture. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, look, this shit can be like this, dog. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? And instead of just going his own way with it, you could be stingy with that. You right. feel what I'm saying? You don't have to do that for nobody. You know what mm. I'm saying? And it allowed me to do it for people that I came up with, you know, who those who wanted to come, you know, which was a, a chosen few. But you know, some people, <laughs> some people get it. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't have to beat that in my head with a hammer and nail. You feel me? Ask me, and hey, I was obliged. You know, damn, that shit gotta feel good though. Like to be be able to even have these stories. Oh like, yeah, yeah. One of the last time to be alive and free, man. Mm. Yeah, man. I remember, like, man, I would go into jail, but every, every day. Yeah. Nah, I'm talking about before, it was a, like every other week kind well, of thing. Yeah, Get out, be out for a week, go back for six months, be out for a week, go back for another three months. I was just trying to convince myself I could stay out of jail, I could stay free. Mm. And so when I started doing music, you know, even though I still kind of, you know what I'm saying, went to jail, but it was really kind of just shit that was catching up with me. And that's habit mm. as well as, you know, just, just trouble that would kind of, you know what I mean? That shit like forward momentum. If you've been getting in trouble for this much time, this much period in your life, even though you stop getting in trouble, it's still a wave of shit that you've done that's gonna catch up with you. Mm. And, I wanted uh, that. That shit just was hard to get out of. So for me to be able to play, well now, that's no longer a part of my life. I don't even have to consider that. Mm. That to me is more of a blessing than even, that. when I say it changed my life, or saved my life, that's what I mean.
I wanted to ask you, like, just on some man shit, outside of you being T.I., like, you just being a provider for so many people, your family, your friends. Like, when the last time you look back and, like, man, this shit, like, I really, I really did this shit. That shit got to feel crazy, man. Man, I, I, for one, I think to God be the glory. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. God made a way for me to do whatever I'm doing for whoever I'm doing it for. I'm not the end all be all. It don't end. Like, it get <laughs> no, big. It's no. bigger than me. No, 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 you're right, though. You see what I'm saying? So, a lot of people lose focus on that. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for that. It's a blessing to be a blessing. You mm-hmm. feel me? Um, I'm thankful for that, bro. I'm yeah. thankful that the things that we experience for instance trap music the album it turned 20 this year trap music the album will mm-hmm. really man just like document a documentary or a, a recount of shit we had already done mm-hmm. so our childhood all that wild shit that we telling you we were doing before we were rapping we started rapping about it called it trap music and the entire genre was created mm-hmm. you see what i'm saying that's how I feel about the shit. Hey, Just hey, us as wild young. young teenagers fucking around doing the shit we were doing. That shit had such an enormous impact on us. We vividly remember the lessons, life skills, and, and the yeah, consequences yeah. that came with it. Yeah. That inspired us to make music that turned into an entire genre. And other motherfuckers who live similar lifestyles now say, shit, I have a story like that too. Bro, and that and, shit turned and, into and, trap. And, yeah, that's different. See, we're different from like like the newer generation rap about shit. They been to do tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> like, we rap, we we did enough stuff to sustain us for years. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like before we got there. But I don't think that we we we're the kind of people that would want to keep repeating that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, bro. If 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 Instagram and all that shit was out when we was. If we were that age, I, we'd have been got life sentences. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. I was going to ask you, no do you think that would have been a good thing for y'all? That probably nah, wouldn't have been. Nah, yeah, no. It's a blessing for sentence. us. It wasn't cool to show yeah. you yeah. doing yeah. crime. Right. Like, to actually visibly be seen doing crime, that wasn't cool. That wasn't yeah. a thing in our day. And that's Man, a blessing for us. Knew. Yeah, we used to have, we used to have like, the Robin crew. Like, you niggas just knew. We used to have you know shit, like, that, that would have really got us fucked up. I don't even really see... It's a lot of stuff going on in the city that, that, that there's some bad shit, but we used to have names for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Robin Crew, you know what I'm saying? B and E Bar, uh, Down by Law. You feel what I'm saying? Like I refuse. I refuse. Nigga yeah. that wouldn't, ref- you know, they ain't going Diablo. for that. You know what I'm saying? Diablo. <laughs> like it was shit like that. That that it was codes that we lived by. That that was a little anybody bit. Anybody get like, it? Yeah, anybody get it? All that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that it, it's kind of different now. Everything that's, that yeah, goes, yeah, that everything that goes on yeah. right now is a bit more, I could tape it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we didn't really want to tape what the fuck. Nobody wanted to tape They were putting they babies were in microwaves and shit when we were coming up. You yeah. feel me? I ain't Turn that, that bitch on. tough. You see, yeah. I ain't that kind of. Doing that. I ain't got that kind of heart. When it comes to some shit like that, yeah, I got some feeling. I ain't putting no baby in no. Yeah, see, but these were the people that. that I was. I, I I knew people like that. I mean, you know yeah, I mean? me too. But I'm just saying. But, I told know, them I can't. I ain't no. I don't. I don't agree with that. I don't agree. I don't agree with it either. And I, you know, I knew some of them niggas went to hell. They, some of them niggas went to hell like seven thirty that next morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real early. Real early. You know Present. I mean? Eight. You know what I'm Present. <laughs> you know what I mean, like, it, it, but I think. But you know what though? I still believe that as 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 we are, what we kicking in the pit on the album is unity. And through all the what you saying about the feelings and stuff, we still can come together and be family. Even if we wasn't making music, we still would be, we would live in the same, we could come up in the same house, you feel me? And I think that for ours, for my sons and my kids to see this is is a great thing for Friendship. our daughter, yeah, mm-hmm. for, for them right. to see this. And I think that it takes a village to actually raise our children, you feel what I'm saying? And I felt like it, that's a saying that I used to live by, you feel me? And that's all also a, non, a non-profit that I got. Uh, mm. what, what that was a plug, you yeah, know. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think it takes a village was something that my that we grew up on. Like my I, I, my um, my neighbors had the green light on whooping my ass. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? If I, if I did something wrong, you know what I'm saying? My uh, the neighbor can take me to my mama's house and I end up getting two ass whippings. 
You feel what I'm saying? I think that was, I think it was important. I think then. the shortage. I think the shortage of the drought on air whipping is reflecting in the wild nature of things. No, yeah, because the not even change. just appearance. Though. People, if people I, just got air whipping more, when they start making it like you, there were egregious penalties now for whipping air. That when the world went crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. With though. no consequence, there's no. But correction. I ain't gonna lie to you. Outside of uh, air whipping, the straight bro, the outside, of, ass outside of apparent ass whipping, bro. I feel like a lot of shit is the way it is because niggas ain't getting their ass whipped in the streets either. Yeah. Like, niggas can pick up guns. Like, I, I know I'm yeah. younger than y'all, but when I was coming up, well, niggas, you would get that, your ass whooped on some ass, fuck shit. Ass will and come. Kept, Cause when you get locked up, that ass yeah, will be there. You're gonna have to fight when you get behind that wall. No, no wait on it. I'm gonna show you if you, you real or not for real. Yo, so what made like what was the what was the energy that brought y'all together right now to even work on something? Well, Nate always been like, we know I'm a Capricorn, he's a Capricorn too. I think that we share that family type. You don't got you feelings, but you got you believe in a zodiac and shit? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I mean, I mean, well, I, I, I never said, I, I never said, I, I'm, I'm fucking a, with you, Joe. I'm a master of feeling. Okay. You know, because I've let my feelings take me places he, that he I shouldn't make shouldn't go. You feel what I'm saying? You didn't I, say I, we I, didn't have feelings. Yeah. I'm fucking, we said we don't. <laughs> Pour them on each other. Right. That's what we said. So Matt Boney man. actually came up with uh, getting getting everybody back together, and he's always. I can't lie. No, 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 no. I no, nah, no care. I can't even let the conversation go forward. Got to say it. Okay. It really it it was DJ Holiday, man. DJ Holiday approached me uh, at. Uh, Mac, you don't, you don't agree with me? And our niece reigns. Nigga, party. speak up. Nigga, sit up. Nah, man. And Mac, and, and listen, nah, Mac. DJ Holiday and him. me. Right, hey, man, could we say get a, piece? a PSC show? Could we, can I get a PSC concert? I was like, man, and me personally, after speaking speaking to Mac, he wasn't on no music shit. He wasn't talking about doing no recording and shit for real. He was done with the music business. And he was having paper and didn't need it. And that was his thing. Man, I don't need no fucking music, man. Fuck that shit. Is this I'm true, man? Get my paper. So it wasn't until this is from my from my perspective. It wasn't until DJ Holiday asked me about doing that concert. I put us in a group said, Hey, is this a consideration? And then the, all of the ideas and thoughts and you know the consideration I think people seeing other people say yes maybe I feel like Mac he ain't, he ain't feeling I don't know man what, what, what was it say? bro no comment bro what happened like <laughs> what, what made y'all come together what made y'all you can't not talk man okay I'm gonna give it to you <laughs> I want Mac to I talk want, man no, 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 I want this I'm gonna just be honest hey, with you I was in the room. Can I, I, let I him think talk I was. For a in, I think, you know why I was like, he, he's not giving you conversation, brother. <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey man, <laughs> you don't come. In. Fish ain't biting. <laughs> fish ain't biting. <laughs> Reel that motherfucker back in. And fish go ain't, go, ain't biting. Throw it back out. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm nibbling. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gotta relax. No, listen, so, 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 I think, I think um, just to be honest with you, I think I was in Maryland, mm. and I was um, I think I was going to visit my daughter or something like that. But I'm in the hotel room. I get a call. Tip said, man, look, got Mac on the phone. He talking about the PSC album. What you think about it? I said, fuck yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I think that this is a great thing. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, Yeah, what though? What? That was after the DJ. All holiday. right, all right. So, yeah, so I, I know that. The origin that. came from where you came from. Yeah, well, you know, the I'm origin. Saying, you know okay. what I'm saying? So how was the energy now? Y'all feel like y'all still got it? Y'all can make some shit that's going. But what you say? <laughs> Do y'all feel like y'all still got it? Y'all gonna make some shit it. that's going shake the streets up? But as a pig, Man. pussy pork. <laughs> Still got it. This cat. Yeah. Hey, listen. Hey, 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 listen, man. A bitch gonna take you? this shit like a fish you show take me the water, something man. Man, you show me something better. I give you five songs. You give her one. You show me something better. Woo. Seven. <laughs> This is great Seven times. This Seven. is great for guys. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Yeah. This is really some historical shit that's mm -hmm. taking place. Um, Tip made trap music, the album, and then made trap music. The song, the title track, trap music is T.I. MacBone. Mm. Probably the first trap song, trap music song probably ever made. Mm. Trap music, the first probably the first time spilling out was me and him probably. I think. Um, and yeah. the crazy thing about For the that album is, trap music. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, it's pretty deep. 
when he called it a genre of music, that's, mm. that's, that's pretty deep. That shit is crazy. Do y'all yeah. feel like people understand that shit? Um, we don't give a fuck. I don't think nobody give a fuck. Like, yeah. because it's it's something that we understand. Like, we like, get that when we die. Yeah. Mm. yeah, you feel me? We get that when we die. When we die, you know, a bunch of motherfuckers will talk about how good we was. You know what I mean? How 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 monumental and how you know, pivotal this was for a certain part of the culture, a certain part, a moment in time. But ain't nobody gonna give you the satisfaction of really. Do you know Martin Luther King approval was like 30%? Yeah. Like the week before he died? Mm. Like motherfucker wasn't fucking with him for real while he, I mean, not in his face, you feel me? Mm. He had like, you know, the minorities of people who could really tell that he was something real. But the same way when you die, Everybody seems to now get the picture. Mm. That That's shit just, been happening for life. So why would it be any different for me or us? That's mm. just like asking we me. We get it when we die. That's just like asking me, Dro, do you, do you feel like everybody thought you were fresh? I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> why not, man? Why not, man? <laughs> why you don't give a fuck, man? So, <laughs> so before we keep before we keep going, I want to say again how much I appreciate this shit, man. And like mm. I understand not and this shit make me. I know I might be talking like it's regular, but I ain't shit regular about this. Yeah. I'm telling y'all it's straight up. You feel me? I'm like I was coming here and a couple of my friends like, oh, that's Ti Studio. I've been there a few times. I'm like, man, y'all niggas about not act up. Cause this shit is the, this is great. Mm -hmm. Where I'm coming from to, to sit down with some niggas like this, bro. Mm -hmm. This don't happen every this day. This is actually, man, young. This is a former YSL headquarters. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When I bought the studio, Thug and all his crew just kind of like they had their whole side. I'm just not being able to come back over this way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. I think they left a lot of that energy while you say the young nigga was like, yeah, man, I be over there. You used to be gambling right there on that pool table all mm -hmm. night long. You know, it was some. Well, I don't got that energy. And I'm going to take a page out of my, 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 another OG Nori book. Yo, can we get the bottles, bro? I don't got no roses or nothing, but like I just came well, bearing I'm, some uh, gifts. Oh, like no, just no, no, I, appreciation. I'll, I'll share with you that I have been sober for two years. Yeah, this is so uh, April 18th. This sober, you know bro. Put it on your two put it on your shelf. Congratulations, my brother. Congratulations, bro. Yeah, Joe yeah, cannot yeah, yeah. accept alcohol. I know, T, I like the blue one. Joe cannot. Yeah. Why you mean I like the blue T, one? T, you don't even T, you don't even know I got you the uh, you I got you like oh. a bunch of blue ones for your birthday. You don't even know that was me. Mm -mm. The plug. I didn't know that. That's nah. crazy. Why you just assume I like the blue? Because you asked for all blue ones for your for your uh, not Probably your birthday for your um the I asked restaurant. For that. The restaurant. I thought they just no, got them offered all blue ones. I thought that what was. Oh, maybe I'm. I'm we, we cut that out. <laughs> I thought they offered all. Blue. But we can cut that. Part yeah, but Young Dro can't receive alcohol, man. So he'll have to, you know, forward with all his alcohol and. <laughs> he and, said forward. Yeah, yeah, well, you know I, I, I grab if y'all to one of the other representatives. Keep me in the studio. Oh, he said, "I want to take a drink with me." I don't drink right now. Shit. Well, I don't do no drinking. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't need drink. I'm the only one who would drink with you. You gonna have a drink with me then, brother? Man, it'll be a time for that. God, <laughs> man. So, but shout out to Rose, man. Shout out to Rick Raw, man. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Fat yeah, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah boy. Bell yeah. Bell. Shit, we can't toast. Rick, Rick, Rick Raw, the whole Yeah, it is. You know, to the big yeah, man. Shout out to the biggest boss. Shout out to the biggest boss. It's about yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's up with this flip phone, bro? What's up? Oh, yeah. Tell them about your phone, bro. What's up with this flip phone, man? Okay, so let me tell you something. For damn sure, I got money for technology. You know what I'm saying? We gonna do that. I'm saying we gonna do that one. I'm saying. So look, check this out. So my nigga, uh, on on this on this journey that I'm on, my dog, like for me to be actually the best person that I need to be, I need to protect my attention and what I intake. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, I, a lot of people spend a lot of majority of their time on that phone, man, and then taking a lot of, you know, what I'm saying shit that mm. really don't really make sense. Is it, it, it? It's really like That's spending true. hours, hours on the phone, man, watching another motherfucker look good and mm. watching another nigga bitch show her ass. And you feel me? So a lot of that, you know, taking in is not good for me. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know, then I get to where I want to compare some shit. You feel what I'm saying? And then by the time by the time I look around, three or four hours of my day each day of the week is given to mm. watching something like that. So I actually started to protect my attention and, and my conversation changed. You feel me? I treat people different. I say I have different rebuttals for questions and shit that people ask. You know what I'm saying? As you know, as opposed to of them being negative if I kept watching it and intaking negative and putting out negative. 
So mm. I also just bought me a flip phone to actually manage it and really manage it because I still had an iPhone, so I was still going it from time to time. So at, at this point right now, I'm on some other shit. And, I, and guess what? I was in the club the other night, bro. Everybody was in their phone. If a nigga nice. would have came in there shooting, I probably would have been the only one that saw my way up out there. I would have been like, y'all didn't see the nigga coming in? I, I was the first nigga saw the active shooter today. Like, you said, I was, you saw the nigga? Yeah, I saw him. You know I, mean? I was like, look at this nigga shooting. I ain't doing some shit. Everybody else was in their phone ducking and shit. They didn't know what to goddamn try to record I said, y'all need shit. to go get y'all one of these. You know I, mean? I saw a nigga a mile away. So you said, hey, y'all doing a it's, movie too? Yeah, 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 yeah. Department. Um, um, it's called Department. It's my first uh, film as a director. Mm. Uh, written, directed, produced partly by me. Uh, it's it's funny, a isn't partnership it? with, with uh, 85 South, Grand Hustle Film, 85 South. Me and DC produced it. Carlo Miller, executive produced it. Lil, du- uh, Lil Duval, executive produced it. Uh, Hi Hi Mafia wrote all through there. It's funny as shit. Of the generation, I'm gonna tell you that now. Just drop dead, funny as shit. Of the true Atlanta shit. It's like the Atlanta Friday. You Bro, what, what made you even jump into? I feel like you talked about this a couple of times. Like you just jumped into that comedy shit. Like it felt like. <laughs> like what made you just like? It was like I man, fuck shit. it. I'm gonna just do comedy. I needed a release. I, t- I mean, I think that. Man, I go through shit, bro. Mm. And you know what I'm saying. Sometimes the music, it don't be the proper. It don't be the proper way to get it off. I can't give it the attention it deserves and some some of the shit, you know, I just go through funny ass shit, bro. Mm. And um, I get to share it and I get to have a conversation with adults. Mm. I feel like I'm speaking to a different demographic, uh, older, more, you know, kind of- uh, Mature. A more, a more seasoned ear, you know what I mean? So I can talk about shit differently. Um, and, a motherfucker threw me on stage when I ain't know I was getting on stage. And then K Dub just threw me up there, man. And I just had to figure something out. And when I got my first laugh, it felt so good. I just kept doing it. Yo, you jumped in that already that funny being. Shit just kept happening. T.I. <laughs> like, you jumped in it already being like the legend that you are. How was that journey that had to be hard, right? See, like, but see, then, then what I'm saying, so okay, from, from your seat, you say I jumped in it and I'm already T.I. But before I was T.I., I was already tipped. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't really see it as I'm T.I. doing something. I'm Tip doing something. Mm. T.I. just got to come with me. Mm. I, just, I, just, I just bring that with me. But, but it's Tip first and foremost because that, that, that that's what comes before T.I. So even before T.I. though, you jumped in it where you already had a good amount of followers, a good amount of fame that came with you, and you was used to success. You had to like kind of like learn this and, and work at this and, and start from the bottom almost. What's wrong with that? No, I'm saying was like was that was that hard it for you? It was fun. Uh, it is fun. It's why I love it. Because it allows me the opportunity to have to work at something. When I go out and do a concert, I know it's gonna go well. Mm. <laughs> right. I, know, I, know, I gotta already know these songs are songs people like to hear and they gonna sing along and it's gonna go well. I already know that. Mm. With this shit, I have to give an extra piece of myself to ensure that it will go well. Mm. I have to pay more attention to it. I have to work with it. I'm I'm challenged yeah, by that's it. That's what I was about to say. More challenging. Yeah. Than rapping, because he's been rapping since he was, what, eight? Yeah, eight like years second old. Grade. So that's, that's, that's easier. Mm. Right. Now, this is more challenging. This is more like, oh, what if I could conquer this? Boy, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. You know, you're going to go through the ups and downs with that, but you don't see him stopping. Mm. Yeah. Selfishly, yeah. I can say that, right? Another thing is, I will never get the shock that look on people's faces when I walk up there doing comedy. Ain't nobody gonna be shocked to see me do that good in music right. no more. You know what I mean? I ain't really, you know, but the 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 surprise on people fade like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I have to got there hit a I had to hit a bat flip and dunk a basketball, man. You know what I mean? So to wait, get that right in there, music. If you don't feel if you if, if you don't feel that way in music, why come back and do something again? Well, just because that because there are other feelings associated with it. You know what I mean? Like I don't think I ever get as many people at one time reciting what I'm saying on stage in comedy that way. Mm. 
But there's a different reward for different feelings, and I have access to all of them. So why stop at one of them? No, that's some real shit. You goddamn dig what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> that's some real shit. Country, when you get the call, right? Uh, you trying to do this PSC shit. Nah, see, it ain't, I didn't get that call like that, right? <laughs> uh -oh. Nah. He didn't get a call? He had to nah, see y'all niggas? he was texting PSC. I, I try to call this nigga. You know, he busy. I'm like... What the is what he, he trying to do some PSA? I gotta call Matt. Matt, what's going on? <laughs> Man, stop playing. What's going on? <laughs> you know it ain't no PSC without fat boy. What's going on? You know it ain't no PSC without you, fat boy. You know we got you. We got you. I like you like to play a lot. Like, I'm coming to the studio. This nigga <laughs> look like he play all fucking day. So, all to be honest day. with you, what we wanted to do is we wanted to make sure that we knew that the shit was good enough mm -hmm. to go before we actually Really? We wanted to do some songs before we just made it. Like, okay, yeah, we doing this. Mm. But then, you know what I'm saying, when Country came, he brought he brought the internet with him and the cameras and all that shit and turned that shit into like a weekly episode. Mm. And so it's like, oh, it went from, we gotta make sure it's good, to, oh, this shit better be good. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. shit better be good because the goddamn world is watching. Yeah. Mm. So you, my perspective with the music shit is different from theirs. These three guys been rapping since they was, eight, five years old. These niggas master that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I always look up to their verses and they raps. And I was like, well, damn, boy, I want to rap too. <laughs> no, I ain't that goddamn good, right? Let the motherfuckers say some shit. So I said, you know what? I know I'm gonna do, I'm gonna know how to make hits. Mm. I'm, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna try to be more witty. Yeah, y'all can rap, I'm gonna be witty. Mm. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, matter of fact, I'm gonna try to bring the, the best out of y'all. I'm I'm just do this kind of song and see what y'all do on that, and then then I be hearing they song I be like yeah that yeah that's what I want you to sound like. Women, like, women bring the, women bring the best out of me. Yeah, well, know, I'm sorry, Dro. To be honest with you, man, <laughs> I was actually thinking a a double cheese turkey club for Cash. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Oh, so that's you like, want so you want to start? Goddamn, Scooby Doo song. <laughs> like you know they, you know they record. You want to start? <laughs> <laughs> see, see, every, see, see, man, I'm trying to tell you, man, everything giant to a dwarf. Everything giant to a dwarf, I swear to God. Oh, man. Yo, it's crazy. Oh, you what do you say you go up the road and give me one of those hoagies? <laughs> Yo, you say you, say you came with the cameras, right? Made an episode. Yeah, so man. Good. They started doing vlogs and, like, weekly well, episodes. Well, I feel like since we was in there and all of the character, you know, all the character that, us, that we have as a group and how we kick it, you feel me? Just like how they was kicking it. I think I, I said that maybe we should, you know, start taping it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would start recording yeah. it ourselves and and you know letting people see the character so they can buy into more than the music. Mm. You feel me? You can just start buying into the actual person. Yeah. And it's crazy how that double edged sword work, right? Like you got the the flip mm. phone because you don't want to be consumed into the internet. Mm. Right. But even like I uh I seen somebody say like if you want to do something, put it on the internet. As crazy as it sounds, but like you put it on the internet, now it's kind of like you're forced to do it. Right, and it's crazy how that 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 worked. I mean, well, I, I I like it because, you know, I, I I can put something out and don't have to be, I don't have to worry about what you're saying or where how do you like it or not. Right, as long as it satisfies us, and mm -hmm. I'm and I'm satisfied, and I put it out. That's just what I'm standing on, nigga. That's you know that's PSC right. business. Mm -hmm. You feel me? He ain't got to see the feedback. You on don't want to see yeah. none of that feedback. Shit. Yo, is that? Let me ask you this then. Is that fair? Like, on a, <laughs> on a, no, 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 on some real shit. On, on, bro, you on. critical as fuck, bro. bro. I'm asking you questions. I'm go, picking your brain. Nigga. So, go, no, go so I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. So look, you damn, don't, this set of questions, you don't, man. You don't, you don't, you don't consume it, right? But you give it, right? So, for example, like the music. Let's say. This shit been on one way street. Yeah, but like. I don't smoke crack either, but I sell bricks. <laughs> yeah. You feel what I'm saying? No, we. But no, you don't have no, no conscience. No, 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 no. I was saying, no, like, that, just for example. From, that was just from example. From a drug no, dealer standpoint. That was just an example. Not, not okay. me, I'm a lyricist. Not facts, there I get it. Go. From a drug yeah, dealer let's standpoint. Let's classify that. You feel me? Like, a nigga, a nigga, ain't, a nigga ain't smoking no pipe, <laughs> but he's damn sure chopping up a brick. But what'd that say about you, though? I'm a hustler. Nah, look, check this out, bro. I think the, uh, there's a new generation that has a different level of expectations from entertainment. Mm. You understand that? Entertainment is a one-way street, sir. You hear me? When the last time you let somebody interview you, but you this your podcast, when the last time you let somebody, you sat over here where we sat? A couple times, not too long ago. You, when, when? Like, you mean? 
No. What episode did you put out? That, 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 oh, I mean, it wasn't on mine. It was okay. on somebody else's. Exactly. Exactly. Did, did my thing, own. though. But did oh, my thing, yeah. This is a conversation. Y'all asking me I'm questions? Asking, I'm saying when was <laughs> you on your own seat? What we, what we need to get back to is y'all ain't pulled to give us nothing. Hmm. Y'all ain't pulled to give us nothing. Ain't nothing for us to receive. The tail shall never wag the dog. Yeah. You hear me? Mm -hmm. We came in the motherfucker introducing you to something. Showing you what the fuck you might want to do that would but would improve you and your and your activities. I ain't looking for you to improve shit I got going on, man. Mm. So keep that shit to yourself. Mm. Ain't nobody caring nothing about it. So it ain't nothing for it ain't no back and forth. It ain't no equal exchange cuz we ain't equal. Mm. Do you sometimes feel like you you spread yourself too thin? Like yeah, yeah, I thought that when I invited you up here, but I still did it. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Shit, I appreciate it. Shit, nigga, you ain't going to How much do you care about me spreading my feelings? Yeah, 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 Not too much. Yeah, exactly. I asked that because when we was on the phone, and you was like, yo, uh, what's some of the things you want to talk about one of the first time we talked? And I was like, really, your legacy? Because I feel like. I just don't believe. I feel like, what I was telling you here, man, I want to make sure I'm talking about something that I like, that, that, that's pushing forward with something I'm doing. Mm. I ain't really looking to be more famous. I ain't looking for no extra spots on TV. I don't just want to be on here talking just to hear myself talk. Mm. What are we talking about? What no is fact. the purpose? How is it pushing the, the story forward? Mm. Just sitting up here talking about how I feel about my feelings and then my opinion <laughs> on this thing and that thing. That ain't for me. It plenty of niggas you can sit up here and talk about that shit with. No, facts. Talk about me. Talk to me about some shit you can't talk to them niggas about. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You been a legend and doing a lot of things and not feeling like you get your. That's a, that's something that I can't like talk I to I everybody. Get. But who said I ain't feel like I got my? I don't get. I don't, it ain't for me to feel nothing about mm. anybody else's opinion to me and none of my business. Mm. I'm too. I'm too busy focused on how the people around me feel. Mm. I kept it solid with the motherfuckers around me. Motherfuckers around me who done known me. I can't give people with the least amount of information the most consideration. So you you saying pushing the culture forward, right? This is why I'm gonna push back on you because you tip. It's a lot of niggas out here that's chasing the B tip. To so? be to be like the like like say for myself was I might gonna speak for nobody else, right? Okay. You got a young nigga, I'm grinding. You right. get what I'm saying? When I'm talking to you about that chip on your shoulder, you feel me? Like that's how a lot of people become successful. Right, so when I ask you about yo, you being legendary and you being something for me, so like when you say like that's not pushing the bro, you have so many people out here that you motivate. Nah, you might bro. not give a fuck what about I'm it. What I'm talking about here, bro, you I think you take my words and make them mean what you think they mean, but I don't know if you're getting the true meaning from me. Your perception. Mm. You dig what so I'm what saying? It mean? I mean, I'm telling you. The 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 me being a legend stuff. I'm paying more attention to what I'm doing. Tomorrow, building mm. on. How I about, ain't stopped this? looking what, back at what, what, what I've this, done. What is this? I'm you can't seven. take. Is you, this seven or eight? Eight. It's 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 eight. Listen, it's eight. 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 I I think really. What, what do you want him to acknowledge? The fact that he made the dope boy famous. Mm. He made the dope boy famous. Jeez. Not the 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 dope man. Not the kingpin. Mm. Not the fucking drug lord, not the motherfucking El Chapo, the dope boy mm. is the shit. You mm. feel what I'm saying? He made street niggas, man. The neighborhood, the shit, bro. Mm. That's real shit. Now that is that's real. That's legendary. Shit. It is. That was, you want him to acknowledge. But that's for him yeah. to say. Yeah. Facts. I tell y'all time to God be the glory. I would bless whatever I would do. I would bless to be surrounded by a real one like these that insulated me to the point where I could goddamn move and do whatever yeah, the fuck yeah. I needed to do, cause I knew we was anchored down. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. We'll go to war in any room with anybody. It don't matter. I don't need but four or five of us, and we gonna go and we gonna, we gonna go ten to our business. Mm. And the ability and the comfort and the confidence that came with that just allowed me to really man push my push my pimp in the way it needed to be pushed at the time. Mm. So I'm I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for them. Sitting here, me just talking about me, it just don't feel important, bro. That <laughs> shit just don't feel important, my nigga. <laughs> you hear me? I feel like, man, like I said, God, it blessed me. They say you only pulled that. You, you, you might not get one real friend in your lifetime. Look at how many I've been surrounded with. How many real motherfuckers who love me for me. Whether this shit come or go, fall all the shit tomorrow. I'm, man, it's, man, it's at least 12 of us. And that's beautiful. 
That's priceless. You know, the richest people in the world count their value by the amount of things they have that money can't buy. Mm. You feel me? Some people are poor. All they have is money. I want to talk about the value of the things that don't come with the glitz and the glamour and the spotlight and the, man, all that shit. Yeah, I got it, I got it. But if, I, if money is all it takes to get it, everybody can get it. Mm. What about the shit that a nigga got that money can't buy? That's what I want to talk about, bro. Mm. That's what I'm thankful for. Mm. And so that's what I mean when I say what I'm saying. <laughs> I ain't trying to discredit. You gonna, you I ain't trying to discourage you. Cry, I ain't trying to make it seem like it ain't important and you shouldn't strive <laughs> and grind for it. Shit, but when God, you strive God, and God, grind for it, don't just play the value jet on the money, man. All the shit that you use that money came by, all that shit that you use that got you the money, put just as much attention on that because that's mm. important. Till God like Damn. you. God like you, boy. That's some real shit, bro. Some real shit, though. That she told your ass in, Jay Hill. Nah, hey, listen. <laughs> it makes for great content. You ain't got, listen, I ain't scared of you, motherfucker. Listen, I, I'm me. That's the one thing I love about me, because I'm going to be me regardless if it's Tip, Dro, or a motherfucker, whoever. Like, yeah, right, you feel yeah. me? But Carry I, on, man. Yo, I, um, how many times do you feel like, y'all, have you ever forget that? Like, you had to learn that. You had to be able to, 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 to learn that and be like, yo, this is what it's about. It's not, I might have got lost here. Word of the day. Inundated. What the? Mm. Can somebody mm. look that up for me? Mm. Word. Inundated. Drilled in. Instilled. Embedded. Yes. Mm. Second nature. You hear me? It ain't no man. This shit just is. Yeah. Mm. That's I, shit. I tell you what, though, man. This project, man, is, is coming together very nicely. I think that we walk in here, man, and when we walk into the studio, bro, it's life in there. It's history in there. It's... It's futures in there. You feel what I'm saying? Nothing is stagnant about what we're doing right now because actually we reaching back into the youth. We got young niggas coming in writing. We got old producers coming in right. We got young producers coming in right. It's just a collaboration of of life and, 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 and fulfillment, man. Right. Evolution. Now. You know what I'm saying? Evolution. Like, and it and it feel good doing it. And, and, and feel good to, doing it together. Exactly. Mm. And when I tell you, bro, we ain't missing a step. Like, and ain't, ain't no no. OG shit. We just know how to do music. I really tell you good. what we'll do. I tell you what we'll do. I tell you what we'll do. We'll play two songs for you, mm. and we ain't even gonna play them on camera. We're gonna play two songs. Then we're gonna cut the camera back on. And let you get a reaction. That's what we'll do. Can I give you your flowers for a second, <laughs> bro? It's like you ain't lose a step. You know. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I ain't, bro, you know, I ain't scared of you. Yeah. I don't gotta say it. I'm like, you know, you know, I'm like, hey, okay, you know, I ain't saying it because it's you. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta say that. I'm yeah. being real. Yeah. Like, I'm well, being real. Draw yeah. hard. Appreciate well, that, man. Like that. Yo, it might be the chip on my shoulder. Yeah, I got something to prove. <laughs> get your mic, hard, nigga. Bro. Get your mic. Get your mic, tip. Yo, man, Drew I always been hard, bro. That's why it, it feel like you ain't lose a step. Yeah. It's nasty, actually. That shit's crazy. So, Drew so, I always been so hard. I master my. Feelings, I master my flow. I just, <laughs> and focus. And my focus. And Nigga focus. Saying, the yes. focus was like what we hear now, Joe, I always been cold, I always been nasty, I always been a dog. Mm. What we see now is a focus drove. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. A drove that's thoughtful with his words, thoughtful with his time, thoughtful with his application of skill, yeah. with a lot more discernment. And I think that's what bring it together and make this shit look so much better. Mm. Yeah, that's why y'all want to do That's why I tip the one to talk to me. He said, he said everything in song. He got everything right there. <laughs> what you got to do an interview for? <laughs> so, so, I think that's right the best way to do it. I think that's the best way to do it. Our sound ain't never been really heard before. Mm. To the new, like it's going to be new to the new cast. The folks that know us, they know us. But to the new cast, it's going to be it's gonna be a new sound. Mm. I mean, I, I, you know. They used to they sound, but this sound new. I don't want to ruin it for country, but I just ain't got much faith. I don't. I can't anticipate what a motherfucker gonna do. Right, right. I feel you. I feel you know what I'm saying, man? They, I, 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 I count on them. You know, being as equally naive about it and not giving a fuck as much as they do with the rest of the shit to come out because mm. it'd be a lot. Mm. But over the test of time, like I say, when we gone. <laughs> yeah, the motherfucker gonna get and go back and go represent Y'all talk all that shit about not giving a fuck about what niggas think. It sound like you got a chip on your shoulder on that motherfucker. It sound like it's a chip still there. I am the same person just, I've always it's been. It's just that PSC shit, bro. When have, I, when have you ever heard me goddamn get on a record, sound like I care about something, and not be addressing some fuck nigga in some situation <laughs> in some way? It's like, that's classic textbook T.I. Like, you know what I'm saying? That what the fuck from you don't know me. Who else talking about you don't know me? Mm. Nobody knows. 
I'm Illy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had a whole song called "I'm Talking to You." I mean, because they're what always, kind of nigga you is, y'all? You know what I'm saying? What they ain't even heard that one. That was on my demo. <laughs> but look, so so that that like it always has to be an antagonist of some sort. Something's mm. driving the hero mm. at all times. Like, what's what is it that's making <laughs> him go so hard at being so much better at what he's doing? Mm. It has to be an imaginary adversary, mm. and then those imaginary adversaries became real adversaries. Mm. And then sometimes the real adversaries went away and we had to create more imaginary adversaries. Mm. But life will always provide obstacles. Mm. Luckily, every storm runs out of rain. Yo, you said uh, something that was interesting. You was like, they um, they never heard this sound before. Right. I'm not going to have this time and y'all niggas not teach me something. Okay. okay. So I'm from Baltimore, right? So I'm like relatively up north. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And it, at, at one point in time, it was all like New York music. New York music, New York music. They did it to us too. It was really mainstream. It, us too. it was the mainstream media because New, New York is the number one uh, market yeah. in the world. Yeah. You know what I'm so saying? They, they, so yeah, therefore, they it's going to always us down, be. Down. We just had to listen to, and one radio station used to like play all the down south shit. You had to call that shit. And then I think it was Jerry Smokey B that was like 107, 107 and then he was like, I'm going to play what's in, in the metal. Even, and to one of them hot motherfuckers or uh, bone crusher and them and it just started taking it just make a way for of his own. New York was running all the stuff. We'll go back states. and forth between New York and LA, New York yeah. and LA and New and York. And we just got and tired LA. of hearing that shit. But like our shit was so Nah, different. we didn't get tired of hearing it, bro. We just I wanted got, our spot. I got it's crazy. It's shit. like AT like Atlanta sound like We it. never got tired of hearing Biggie. We never got tired of hearing yeah, Snoop. No, we never damn. got tired of hearing no. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> Hey, hey, we hey, never hey, got tired of hearing hey, that, 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 that shit. That was that podcast shit. That me. We never that got tired of hearing that, that shit. But at the same time, we want everybody, everybody wants like to see this? themselves. Everybody yeah, wants yeah. to hear from themselves. Mm. Everybody wants to see something that's a reflection of them. Everybody wants to hear right. something that they feel like represents them. Mm. So it ain't that we tired of hearing it. It's that we want to hear more of ourselves. It's not facts. And that's natural. Shit, I would be tired of hearing it. If I'm making music, I want to hear me. Fuck these other I just want to hear. I just want to hear what we had to say for real, for real. Mm. I think that the the battle cry at the time was the battle you know cry was saying? in 1995 when uh, Andre 3000 let everybody in the world know South, that South had something to say. Right. And that's when you, you think the saying? doors, the floodgates open. That wasn't not the floodgate that open. That shit over. It was a goddamn one toe at a time. Now. Yeah. <laughs> I, for, for you, for you, know what I'm saying for y'all, for <laughs> no, y'all coming because you, you gotta look at you know they, 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 was, they was some great Mar- artists, but we come Mar- out that trap more work. I just I, I actually think folks don't know they didn't even know what trap was, right? Because I was thinking about Andre, man. Sal got something to say. I've been wanting to say that shit on the mic myself for so long. No, I'm, so I'm, got man, to say. we said we were gonna play these two songs, get your reaction, and wrap up. Goddamn! Oh no, I was I 17 was, episode, man. You gonna have to give us a piece of your entire goddamn network, man. I mean, you give up too much. Yeah, y'all gonna I have mean, to put me in the commercial. Right, everybody gonna start doing hey, some wait, business wait, in this motherfucker. Hey, Step listen, in my office, man. Listen, you know what listen, <laughs> listen, I'm just trying. I'm trying to learn some shit. Yeah, I was I'm wondering, like, you know how that shit go. The doors hit free now. Yeah, all right, now keep on, now. Yo, y'all can't give me the game about the ATL opening the doors? God damn, in the industry? Like, shit. You seen this shit. No, I didn't. Nah, nah, nah. Outcare, good him up. No, I didn't, I didn't really see it. Outcare, good him up. Well, actually, JD. Nah, nah, JD, JD, Outcare, good him up. Outcare, good him up. Uh, uh, and, uh, and then uh, Ludacris. Ludacris. Tip. Tip. Uh, Jeezy, Jeezy. Gucci. Gucci, and Dro. God damn, Dro. Don't play, PSC, me. Don't play with me. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Two Chains. I'm feeling your energy, bro. Two Chains. <laughs> Future, yeah. Migo, yeah, Migo, Savage, Slime, yeah. uh, that shit's Lucci. crazy. Then, like, then, 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 then not only that, the... but the producers as well. Key, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah, facts. The producers like you can't turn the well. radio when I hear ATL. That's just baby, crazy. baby. It really, really by them. Wham, doing what's that. happening? Listen, man. By, by don't do that. It's, it's kind of made the music even. Bank Road I, Mafia. Yeah, Bank Road Free. Oh, like, like Bank Road like Free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So by the time 21 Savage. Box, that's all they wanted to hear. Facts. Now, that's I, a, that's a, that's now a we fact. the mech. Now I mean, <laughs> it, it look like that. That's basically what it is. It feel like you that. You feel me? We the new history. This shit goes so Yo, well, y'all niggas did history. There's a lot of history in this room. Yeah, You got OJ the Jew, man. But I want to know, Will, with the monumental 
Uh, two things. First, with the monumental interview that you had here, one of those two things. First, what did you feel about Shot the song? Boy. Bro, okay, yeah, so. What would the, like, how'd you feel about what you heard? First of all, how you want to ask me an opinion on camera? I got to be honest. So I because that's the like, thing, right? Because that was the whole thing, what we said we were going to do before we left. I'm going to tell you, now, I'm going to be quit, honest with you. Play the song. Come back. I'm just asking. Can I, have the room, can I have the space to be really honest? Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your motherfucking thing. So the first track, what was the name of the first track? Rico. So the first track, I'm like, all right, it's making me feel like back in the day, right? And I'm not gonna lie. Right. Dro, I heard your, your your verse you came in. I'm like, damn. Right. I'm gonna keep it. I'm like, she's this nigga still got it. Mm-hmm. The second track, I was fucking with like every single verse, to be honest. Like every every single one I thought it was hard. I fuck with it. Mm-hmm. The first one I was like, it took me a second. You you came and you woke me up. I'm like, damn, that shit hard. I'm gonna keep it hundred. The second one, I was like, nah, that shit. This shit was like, nah, this shit, this shit crazy. And you listening to it at a boom box. Yeah, nah. Well, look, all right, so that was the first question. You, yeah. I appreciate yeah, that. That was the first question. Now, the second question I got with the monumental interview, <laughs> the wonderful episode you have, is how is you going to end this motherfucker? Nah, I mean, we'll just get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate you. Wait, nigga, wait, nigga, hold the fuck up, man. We got to do an outro, man. God damn. That's how you go in. You say we go back. No, nigga, come sit down, man. Sit down, man. God damn, sit down. We got to get that, man. Hey, man, bring the goddamn. Sit your ass down. Sit down, man. Fix the mic, man. Relax. I'm going to say appreciate you guys, man. What's the name of the second album? Like, y'all ain't give me no names. Like, when is it going? Drop like we ain't, you ain't give me none of this shit. shit. They gotta know something. Okay, now. All right, all right, my bad. Right. right. What we naming this motherfucker anyway? You want too much professionalism <laughs> for me, man. I don't at want this, no professional. This, this, this wasn't yeah, professional. At this hour. This professional. At this hour. This ain't professional. This ain't not professional. Number, all that number, look on num- the floor. number nine. Mm-hmm. Number <laughs> number nine. Go ahead. <laughs> we got damn came up with. We're gonna do two different, two separate things. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're gonna do. Gangsta Grill with DJ yeah. Drama. Then yeah. we're gonna do the album. Sure. And then you gonna sit back, that number nine. You came in number nine. Okay, man. Y'all don't got the name for the album though? When is the drama shit dropping? Right. Y'all got a date, something? Like, I, I we, think we, we going, that's how we care to share. That's how we kept. That's how we kept. But, but one thing right about now. it, you got to hear a couple of records. You feel me? Nah, for sure. Hey, man. That's what, hey, man. That motherfucker grace your earlobes. Hey, man. Before anybody else, no, man, no, you should no be care. proud of that. I, I pre- I'm proud of this whole thing, nigga. Yeah, you, I, you know what, though, young man, young black man, I'm very proud of you, man. We all you feel know. me. I you, appreciate you it, actually, dog. you actually give off, you know, a future vibe in this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. For you to sit in a room in another state and hold your own around people that you looked up to in the music mm. business, and you know, I hope you thrive and keep going the way you're going, man. And I know it's a lot of young men watching you probably can you know pick up from what you give off so That's pouring real. back into mm. pouring back into young people man I, I i i'm 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 betting they watching you bro That's and, and getting some good out of it man no, keep I going appreciate it, man. to be poised yeah. as you are your flowers in the, in the moment that you that you're experiencing uh it speaks a lot you know what i'm saying to your character no, i yeah. appreciate it man for real. i love it's you guys good. man for real like yeah. i mean right on, likewise no cap like yeah like y'all likewise. niggas is legends man mm. PSC is on the way. Yes, uh, Gangsta Grills is on the way. Yes, we yeah. got the movies on the way. Yes, bro. Yeah, the apartments. Yeah. Oh, let me. I got to plug my tour. Oh, yeah, it yeah, still yeah. takes a village tour, man. It's an right. intervention prevention tour across America. We in the schools. We in the homes. We in the communities. We're uh, educating and combating the senseless atmosphere. gun violence and substance yeah. abuse and bridging the gap with yeah, the stigma on behavioral and mental <laughs> health. And I think this tour that we're on is powerful, impactful, and you know what I'm saying. And you know. Do it one more time, man. Why well, he wasn't blowing no weed? Yeah, look into your um. Do it one more time, man. Where his camera, bro? Uh, look at look at your camera. It still takes a village. Is a intervention prevention tour. We're we're going across America. You feel me? We're in the homes, we're in the schools, and we're in the communities. Right. Educating and combating senseless gun violence mm. and um, <laughs> senseless gun violence and substance abuse. Mm. A mentorship and program. And we're bridging the gap on the stigma between mental and behavioral health. Is there any the, donations or anything? Or? I mean, well, the GoFundMe is on my page for you guys, whoever wanna be able to 
kick in whatever you want to do because I can't do it all by myself. If everybody do a little, nobody had to yeah, do a lot. If everybody do a little, we don't got to do a lot. You feel mm. me? So we have a nonprofit called Instill Takes a Village. I have another nonprofit called Sun Speak Up Now to where we help people that has been put out of their homes and that's homeless right now. And you know what I'm saying? I have Reason for Rhymes and creative writing for, I teach young people how to write books, I mean, write music. And uh, I have a, a mentoring program called Rare to where I, uh, I mentor girls, boys, LGBTQ community, uh, educators, and parents, you know mm. what I mean? So, Man, you know what, we're gonna say we proud of you too, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause Very. you know, this ain't the only drug Very. we know. You I hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We know a different drug. No, I believe it. So you know. No, I'm definitely proud. happy for you. We my mom's um, yeah. my mom's always told me like being proud of somebody is not my that's not for me to do, that's for God to do. But mm -hmm. I'm definitely happy for you, man. I I see the growth and I know that shit is hard, bro. Yeah, that so. shit is hard to grow. I ain't I probably haven't experienced the things that you experienced, but I experienced some shit and I know that shit is hard. And sometimes you know y'all niggas have old feelings, but sometimes yeah. you got you gotta go in a room where nobody knows you about to let some tears go cause Growth is hard, bro. Sure. Like that shit is hard. Like you that shit in the shower. Yeah, it's okay. Like people think that shit is easy. Like they think it's just overnight. Nah, man. It take a lot to do what you're doing, bro. It take a lot to be in a room with a bunch of <laughs> shit that you used to do. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And be like, nah, I'm standing on this. So yeah. like, nah, I definitely, I'm happy for you, though. And it's, and it's good to see you like that, for real. Appreciate it. Man. Nah, y'all got anything going on? We we good? That's it. Yeah, yeah you good. heard it. PNC. All, man. You always go for a dime on the way out. You gonna end on a dime. Follow me at Matt Bonnie Fool. Yeah, do all number yeah. ten. <laughs> yeah, do all y'all shit. Do all yeah, at Country K on the IG. You already know. Let's yeah, follow it. me. One young dro. One mm. young dro. If you can't find me, you don't deserve me. Facts. You just changed the shit too. Tip. Just tip. See, you got that. Yeah, man. Game, man. <laughs> Yo, man. J Hill. J Hill podcast. Look, I just want to um end on this note. Listen, man. Never get you high on the highs, and never let your lows get you too low. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I can be right here today, Damn. and I can be somewhere else tomorrow. You get what I'm saying? Like, bro, this shit. I don't never do this shit, but this shit was legendary. Gang. They don't give a fuck what nobody else think. This shit was special to me. And I, the niggas that know my grind and seen me doing this podcast shit, y'all know this shit is, man, this shit, come on, man. These niggas sitting down Let's with the biggest podcast, the biggest interviews, you feel me? They come sitting on, down with me. It. You feel me? So like, man, if you're doing this shit, keep going. Because this is the proof that this shit is going to work. You feel me? J-Hill Podcast, we out. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>